All right, MMA fans, I'm here with former Bellator MMA Bentaway champion, Mr. Darian Caldwell. Hello, sir. How are you today? I'm doing good, man. How about you? I'm fine as well. Thanks for asking. Listen, I saw on Instagram that you went running this morning. Is that right? Yeah, man. Freaking, freaking Jamie Gall, Mickey Gall's sister, made me her duty to run my ass every freaking morning before we wrestle. And if you know Greg Jones' wrestling practice, you know that's hard enough as it is. So, but we've been just, she, actually, Jamie's been really helpful. Um, I call her my accountability partner, you know. Um, she's uh, been making sure that we're not having any more lapses like uh, like last time, so just stand on me with my runs, you know. Are you enjoying your running sessions? Yeah, I love them. At first, you know, I didn't, but now you just kind of get accustomed to them, you know. Uh, this is something I like to ask, actually, MMA fighters. Uh, do you believe that running is actually improving your overall cardio in general? Or were you used to run uh, before uh, this training camp? A uh, thousand, hundred thousand percent running improves your cardio. I haven't ran, ran in camps. It's been camps since I ran, you know, like I've, I've been doing now. So uh, definitely, definitely expecting my cardio to be a little better. I've already felt a tremendous uh, improvement in my cardio since I've been running. So I'm excited. I've just uh, rewatched your NCAA clash with Brent uh, Metcalf. Uh, that that contest was epic, my friend. That was what? Was epic, epic. Oh yeah, that's what's up. Hell uh, yeah, yeah. I, I went to work on Brent, but right? he didn't have no work for me that night. <laughs> uh, what do you recall from uh, that occasion? I just figured I was just doing what I was supposed to do. You know, it it, it seemed, I guess, um, like like an upset to most people, but for me, it was just like another day. Uh, yeah, you made it look easy, to be honest, <laughs> at the end of, of the day. Yeah, that's what I'm going out there to do February 4th, you know? Um, make it look easy. Like, did they even fight? Yes, sir. I can see right it now. the distance, but don't blink because it might be over in an instant. <laughs> Right now, you're scheduled to take on Nikita Mikhailov on February the 4th. Um, in addition to running and uh, wrestling a lot, uh, how are you, you know, spending your training camp in preparation for this fight? Um, well, I've been spending a lot of time with Jason Strout, um, our striking coach, uh, with just little things that I need to improve on. You know, striking has never been an issue for me, but... If we can capitalize and make it a uh, somewhere where I thrive and dominate, then that's what we what we've been trying to do as of late this camp, you know. Uh, and there's no reason why I shouldn't be able to go out there and and put the pieces that we were, we were working out uh, working on um, in play. You and Mihailov share a former opponent in uh, Enrique Barzola. Have you watched uh, Mikhailo's fight with uh, Barzola? If so, what do you think about it? No, I haven't watched it. Uh, do you usually watch your opponent's fights or uh, is that is something that uh, doesn't bother you? Yeah, I usually don't watch fights. You know, unless I've seen them like, on a come up or something, like a fight that I've been watching. I, there's no need for me to go back and dig up a fight on what he, like, what he do and, you know, how you... Like I can, I can really care less. Honestly, I'm just focus on my, myself. You know, um, I know I win 99% of, the, of, of a, any street fight, right? So if I can win 99% of any street fight, and I don't know anything about this guy, right? Why can I do it with this guy? And I'm training, and I've been training. So yeah, that sounds fair. And and what's about your fight with uh, Barzola? What went wrong on that occasion? Everything went wrong. You know. Um, would you like to elaborate a little bit more? I mean, uh, you told me that everything went, went wrong, but in fact, the first round, you looked, you know, pretty good, pretty solid. And I think that I scored it in, in your favor, that opening round. 
Yeah, first round was cool, second round was decent, and then the third round was shit. So again, that's what that's what, what we were talking about earlier when not having those third round laps, right? To being able to find the spots, right? Everything that me and Jason and, and, and Dieter Navarro has been working on, Sean Soriano, to make sure that we can pick our spots come the third, right? We could still put him down in the third. We still not get finishes and get knockouts in the third, right? It's yes. about just figuring it out, you know? And so I've been really just watching, just adjusting my IQ and figuring out things that I didn't know before. And right now you're on a three bout skid. You lost your latest three fights. Where does it put you mentally? Or are you, um, you know, hungrier than ever when you will step into the Bellator MMA cage, the, you know, on February the 4th? Well, I'd rather the skid happen when it did than now, you know? And so right now I'm fully focused on February 4th. Uh, go out there my best foot forward and get my hand raised. Darian, uh, do you have any last messages? Well, I'm not the messenger, so all I can tell you is February 4th, the wolf comes back. Um, I'm just going to show everybody what, the, what, I've, what I've been cooking up over here, you know? Well, fingers crossed, fans will see the wolf back again. Thank you very much for giving us a little bit of your time today. Best of luck with the upcoming fight, and hopefully I will hear again from you in the future. Well, you will, buddy. You will. Thank you very much. Have a nice one. Bye-bye. Thanks, Tudor.